In a previous video, I had demonstrated how to do RTL capabilities using the NASA flight controller. It was actually a Walkera transmitter and a NASA light, uh, but I shipped that back to its rightful owner. So I'm going to talk through that setup with my Turnigy and my QAV400. So in that video, I demonstrated using your three position switch to trigger into failsafe mode. So I call that kind of a forced failsafe. And several of you had asked about, well, how is that different than, for example, if I turned off my transmitter or uh, lost my signal between transmitter and receiver mid-flight. And what I want to do in this video is demonstrate how you do the setup of a true failsafe, if you will, when your transmitter and your receiver connection are lost. It's important to note that you need a receiver that supports failsafe to be able to toggle into failsafe mode when your connection is lost. So in my case, I'm using a FreeSky transmitter with a FreeSky receiver. So I'll start by showing the assistant. Now I already have my three mode switch set up and the default mode is GPS attitude. And if I toggle into failsafe, and now the second switch position is failsafe. And to get that toggle to work, I have a channel on my receiver, in this case channel 6, wired into the U-port on the NASA. And I've done quite a few videos that show how to configure uh, the different modes. And you'll need to have that switch set up so that you can program your receiver to remember that mode uh, for when it goes into failsafe. And this setup assumes that you have a binding between your transmitter and your receiver. Now what we'll do to set failsafe for this free sky, it's the D8R2 plus receiver, is I'm going to put the throttle at about 50%. And you'll notice that when I move my throttle up, that throttle slider will move. So we'll do it right at about 50%. Your settings may vary, but you know that's that's about the point of hover for my QAV 400. Now that the throttle is set, I'm going to toggle into failsafe mode. Looking at the U control mode switch in the assistant, you can see we're in failsafe. Now here's the part where the free sky makes it really easy to set this. And what I'll do is I'll depress the failsafe button on the receiver. And that long beep now tells me when there's a loss of signal between the transmitter and the receiver for the receiver to remember my stick settings. So throttle at about 50% in this channel for the switch, which is toggled at failsafe. So I'll go ahead and go back to GPS attitude and throttle down. Okay, now back in the assistant with the Turnigy on. I'm gonna go ahead and cut power. Now you notice power's off and we have our settings, 50% throttle and we're in failsafe mode. For my enhanced failsafe mode settings I have set up to uh, as DJI calls it, go home and landing. I like to refer, refer to it as RTL, return to launch. So that's how you set up your free sky and NASA for enhanced failsafe when you have a loss of signal. Free sky makes it really easy to do that. You just get your sticks in place, press the failsafe button, and then you're good to go. So I hope that provides some clarification for those of you guys who have asked about enhance fail safe through loss of signal. So if you have any questions or comments, please post them below and thank you for watching.